Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at one of the new interactive features inside of InDesign CS5 that I'm really excited about and that's the ability for the user to create an animated rollover. Actually when you roll over something, something moves. So here I'm actually in, in the beginning stages of redesigning a portfolio or creating a portfolio in InDesign using CS5. So you'll see the progress through future episodes, but one of the first things I'm going to need to be able to do is enable people to click on a menu to take them to the specific portion of the portfolio that I've created. So I want to simulate that here. I've got this menu bar, and here is my page that I want to actually have that bar appear on, but I only want it to appear when they roll over the word menu. So only that part needs to be showing. So the first thing I'll do is I'll pick up this grouped object and I'll move it onto the page where I want it to be when it's rolled over. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our new interactive workspace inside of InDesign. And that'll bring up the animation panel and the other panels we may need. But we can actually do all of, the, all of what we need right here in this one panel. So I'll go to my animation panel and I've named this group nav bar. You, you should get into the habit of naming your objects so that you'll be able to refer to them later on as you animate things. And also try to avoid things like spacing and things like that that may screw up when you go out to flash or or export this document out. So just keep your name simple, keep them generic, keep them, you know, no extra spaces or funny characters. Okay, so now it wants me to choose a preset. And the preset that I'm going to choose is fly in from left. That's what I want to happen. Now, by default, it's going to put a motion path on that object flying in from the left. Great. And it's also, by default, going to do it on page load. So the minute this page or someone goes to the spread, the bar will fly out. And, of course, that's not what I want to happen. So I'm going to turn off on page load. I don't want it to happen on page load. Instead, I want it to happen on Roll on rollover self, meaning when someone rolls over this, they will actually see the bar. And also when they roll away from it, I want the bar to go away. So that's an optional checkbox. I don't want them to see it. Now, here's the hard part. It's hard to know what your motion path will end. I mean, we know where it will end, but we don't know where it will start because we don't know what the how far the object's going to be off the page. So InDesign gives you this cool thing at the bottom here called Show Animation Proxy. So what that will do is when I check it or click it, it will show me where the object is or where it will be before the animation starts. So this gray area is showing me where the bar will be. And unfortunately, right now, it's off the page. That's the problem. They won't even see the, men the word menu to be able to do that. Now, in order for me to fix it, all I have to do is click on the animation or the motion path and just shorten it because what it's basically doing is it's animating it too far. Now, when I deselect and select my object again, I'm I can see where the bar will be. So at this point, I can also choose whether or not I want it to have an opacity when it fades in. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to do a fade in. I just want it to be there at all times. And now I get to preview this directly inside of InDesign CS5. And it will load an instance of the Flash Player right here in my application. So I can see exactly what that's going to look like. Now when I hover over it, I get my rollover. Awesome. When I hover away or move away, my menu goes back in. It's doing it exactly the way I wanted it. And again, I can control the positioning based on that proxy that we have. So that's our first entry into creating animated rollovers inside of InDesign CS5. And again, as time goes on, you'll see me use InDesign to rebuild or build my photography portfolio, an interactive version, using InDesign CS5. So that's your first step, getting your menus together. Now, of course, we'll go on from there and do all kinds of interactivity controls for displaying the images and having it change pages and so forth and so on. But I just wanted to give you your first taste at creating that animated rollover. That's it for this episode. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.